This video demonstrates how to line a baking tin with short crust pastry. This technique is used for pies, tarts and quiches. Grease a 20 cm baking tin, for example a Victoria sponge sandwich tin. Rub a little fat around the tin or use a brush. Greasing with a pastry brush means less mess. Jars of oil and brushes can be shared. Sometimes a round piece of greaseproof paper is placed on the bottom to ensure that the pastry does not stick. Some pupils use disposable foil trays so that pupils can take the quiche directly home. It also saves time washing up during lessons. Others use a flan or tart ring on a baking tray so that the pastry case can be more easily released after baking. Carefully place the dough in the baking tin using the rolling pin to move it around. Using the back of your finger Press the dough into the tin. Pressing the dough into the tin results in a uniform and straight edge. If the dough tears, press it back together. Using a knife, trim away the edge of the pastry. When starting, you might find it easier to trim the edge with the baking tin on the work surface. Using a fork, prick small holes into the pastry base. The lined baking tin is now ready to be filled. The small holes allow gas to escape, meaning less bubbles in the pastry case. You may wish to press the fork around the edge of the pastry to make an attractive pattern. Leftover pastry could be made into cheese straws or mini pasties or frozen for another time. Top tips. Ensure that the baking tin is well greased. Have oil readily available and greaseproof circles pre-cut if appropriate. Foil trays can easily be taken home by pupils and they help to save time because there is less washing up. Tears in the pastry can easily be mended by pressing the dough together in the tin.